you see in the lobby is really evident of a strong K-12 program and um, the fact that Brockton has always supported the arts. K-12 and in Brockton kids get art in kindergarten and every year and we build up and that's how we get this quality that we get. So um, the work out here in the lobby of the Fine Arts Building is attributed to the, the teachers here at the high school but it's also attributed to our elementary and our middle school teachers uh, for really giving our kids the great, you know, the basics uh, to build on and to really explore. Um, you know, without that we wouldn't have the quality of work up here. Um, so there's a lot of people that play into that, you know, it's the teachers and the amazing work there, but it's also the administration and, and it's the school committee and the mayor and the, to support that and um, to value that and to realize that art education is um, not a luxury, it's a necessity and it's what makes our kids active, productive, good members of society um, to work in the arts. We have um, a range of work, so we have freshmen that are in a, their first painting class, so it's their first painting on canvas, to our seniors and some of our AP students that have um, developed bodies of work all around a theme. Um, so it's really fun to see that growth from where they come in to where they end. It's, it's a very inclusive show, um, and, and I like that. It really represents the department. Well, welcome to the 32nd Annual Harbor One Art Awards. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Miss Richards, and I'm the director of the art department. I'd first like to introduce um, some of our guests. Uh, we have James Blake, the CEO of Harbor One Bank. We have Linda Grande, a branch manager of the West Office, right here. We have Jennifer White, the Vice President of Community Relations. She's who I work with to put this show together, so thank you, Jennifer. Uh, Carol Martin, Vice President of Training. Thank you. And then you all know our Deputy Superintendent, Mr. Michael Thomas. Our Principal, Ms. Walder. And our Associate Principal, Mr. Perkins. We thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedule in May, which we call mayhem around here. Um, to join us. Um, so I first want to start by thanking Harbor One Bank. Their continuous support of this program allows us to share all the wonderful artwork that you do and the wonderful things that are happening all year here in the Fine Arts Building of Brockton High with the community. Um, they, you know, as I said, 32 years. That's, that's a commitment. So thank you. Uh, the other people I'd like to thank are your superintendent, who's not here today, but the deputy superintendent and your principal and your associate principal, because they realize how important art is to you, and they realize how important it is to your overall education, and they support the program, and we appreciate that. So give them a big round of applause. So, as you, many of you attended, we had a reception on Tuesday night. It's the third year we've had a reception, and it can, kind of gets bigger and better every year. And um, this year, Mr. Macrina played some live music. We had food. There was a comment section so people could comment on what pieces of artwork they liked and what they thought about the show. That's still up in the lobby if you want to take a look at it. Um, it was just great. And, the, you know, it's kind of my favorite event of the year now. And the best part is when I'm walking around, I can hear you talking to your parents and your friends and your family about your artwork. And, um, and also, it shows your parents and your friends and your family and your teachers a different side of you, right? Um, some of your teachers have been coming through even when you're not here, and they say, oh, I never knew. You know, I never knew they could do this. So um, it's just a really great addition. And that came from your teachers, from your art teachers here. They came up with the idea, they plan it, they get all the food, they organize it, they hang the show. So please thank them. Give them a big round of applause for them. Um, I'd also like to th continue to thank your teachers for working hard with you. They work very hard in the classrooms to inspire you to create original pieces of artwork. When you go out there, you can tell that these are pieces coming from your heart, right? They're inspiring you to make pieces that reflect your interests, your culture, um, your passions, and even your fears, right? So they do this by setting challenges in front of you, right? By posing problems to you. And there's not always one answer. 
right? How many times does your art teacher, well, what do you think? How many times does your art teacher say that to you? What are you trying to communicate? Why, right? Ms. D. Simone's big question is, well, why did you choose that color? Why are you doing that, right? Because we're trying to communicate visually. Um, so they're posing these problems in front of you, and sometimes these problems, because there's no known answer, they actually make you a little uncomfortable, right? And you feel like your teacher's kind of pushing you a little bit, right, to make some decisions. Well, this, these challenges, when you get uncomfortable like this, that feeling of discomfort, and then you come up with a solution, and then you create, that's when you're really learning and growing, okay? And that's, that's their whole point. That's what they're trying to do with you, is to push you, to make you better, right? And if you keep that, that thought process of how you create your art, how you work through a problem, how you work through that frustration, if you apply that to everything in your life, you'll be very successful. Okay, so let's um, thank our teachers for all the hard work. And now, to all of you that had a piece in the show, you should be very proud of yourself that you were picked to have a piece in the show. Um, the work was incredible this year. I've gotten so many compliments on the work. Um, from school members, from outside members, from the public, all kinds of people are just really impressed with the work that you do. So you should be very proud of yourself about that. So give yourself a round of applause. Um, and now we're going to have a few words from James Blake from the bank. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Well, congratulations. Uh, this is uh, 32 years that we've been supporting this effort, and I've been here for 23 years uh, to come to the, the art show here at the school, and I have to say that, you know, it, it's hard to say it, but the truth is this year is the best work that I've seen in the years that I've been coming here, so congratulations to all of you. Yeah. You all have um, a very special talent. Uh, that you should continue to pursue uh, as, you, uh, as you go on, on to college and afterward. There are clearly budding uh, architects here and builders and engineers and, and artists. And, and I think this will serve you well as you continue on your uh, educational uh, process and, and into a career after you graduate. Uh, you really have done just, uh, just great work. And, and uh, we have some financial gifts to, uh, to provide you for the work you've done. But I, uh, I need to just highlight uh, two individuals whose work uh, I saw here that was really outstanding. Uh, one is uh, Samantha Maynard, uh, just has uh, a terrific show here. And likewise, uh, Alice Angeli uh, Angela Pyers, uh, just absolutely spectacular work. So congratulations. and. and <laughs> And, and for those seniors, I wish you well as you, uh, as you go on and continue your education. Thank you. And now a few words from our principal, Ms. Walder. Good morning. How is everyone today? Well, let me just say this to you. When I walked over here the other day, it really just made my day to see the talent and the creativity of all of you and to be able to display it and let the world see the work that you're doing is one of the best things about what I do every day. And Ms. Richards is right. We honor the arts. We want to make sure you have access to the arts. And creativity is, is one of the key things about being human. When you have a vision, when you have an idea, it doesn't have to look like everyone else's. It can be your own. And to be able to give you opportunities to share with us who you are, what you think, how you create, uh, is what makes Brockton High, one of the things that makes Brockton High a great place. And Ms. Richards said thank you to everyone. We need to also say thank you to her. And though Mr. DuPont is new in the position of BCTE, for those of you who created your art through that department, we also want to say thank you to him. And so 
we want to get to the awards piece of it, but let me just say this to you. Not only have you made Brockton High School a better place through the work that you've done and displayed, but you also make our community a better place. And it's exciting that some of the artwork will be displayed throughout the community so others can see it and share it as well. How many of you are graduating? Congratulations, that's most of you in here. So this is class of 2017, a lot of you here. Uh, as you move forward, life changes, but don't let your love for art change. Continue that passion and continue to create because you will help design what our future looks like. As for the rest of you, keep coming back and doing more. All right, are we ready? It's awards time. All right. So this year, we had two judges in. Um, we had an admissions officer from Mass College of Art. We also had an alumni from Mass College of Art that works in fashion and film. Um, they were here for almost three hours. And um, the comment was, can we have twice as many prizes? <laughs> uh, they had a really hard time whittling it down. Um, they were really impressed with the work and could have given out, like I said, twice as many prizes in each category. Um, so we're going to begin with painting. Okay, we'll go from honorable mention to first place. So our first honorable mention in painting actually goes to two students that worked on a painting together. Um, we have Olivia Gordon and Joseph LaForest, if you would come on up. Our second honorable mention in painting goes to Devante Powell for his self-portrait. mention goes to a very intriguing self-portrait on this hallway over here, uh, Colleen Kilroy. Yeah, we have third place for self, another self-portrait, um, Angela Gordiera. We have second place in painting for a self-portrait. And this young lady, when she was working on this portrait, I would go by and watch her do it, and she'd say, well, I don't know. I don't know about this background. I don't know. And the background is just gorgeous, the way she did all the little pink colors. It's Nessie um, DeBosen. And first place in painting for her whole body of work is Samantha Mayard. <laughs> Samantha is in IB testing right now, so she can't join us, but we will get it to her. All right. So we're going to move on to drawing. We have honorable mention in drawing to Javon Dixon for his adaptive lobby study. Second honorable mention in drawing goes to Harry Katsuda for the cat illustration. And third place for observational skeleton drawing goes to Valerie Dahonet.
Valerie? Oh, I didn't, th I didn't see you, Valerie. I thought... And second place for also a skeleton drawing is Michelle de Rome. And first place in drawing goes to Jayelton Texera for probably one of the most powerful pieces in the show. <laughs> it's the soldier drawing in the lobby. It's very, if you haven't looked at it, look at it very closely. It's very powerful. All right, we're going to move on to digital imaging. Uh, digital imaging, honorable mention, goes to Sean Jocko for his abstract bottle. <laughs> Second honorable mention goes to Claire Release Ortiz Cologne for her letter Y graphic. No clear release? No, okay. Um, third place in digital imaging goes to Brianna Conifer, Beriana Conifrey for her illustrative portrait. Second place in digital imaging goes to Christopher St. Klein for his kaleidoscope of his eyeglasses. No, Chris? Okay. And first place goes to Edna Texera for her polygon self portrait. We're going to move on to photography. Honorable mention for her concert photo, Emily Barone. An honorable mention for portrait of a child to Fred Chatterlane. And third place for an abstract photo of the stairs out front, um, O.G. O'Carrick. I'm going to mix up that name. Is O.G. here? Ah, oh, there he is. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we have second place for a picture of a water fountain, Emily Barone again. And first place, Alexandria Lopes for her sister talking to herself. Now we'll move on to printmaking. Honorable mention goes to Alana Silvera for her three color portrait print. The second honorable mention goes to Samantha Doherty for her, um, her political print. It's funny, the next four, four winners, they all are kind of political prints, and the teacher asks them to make, some, make a print that um, speaks for someone that cannot speak for themselves. So they're all hung together in the lobby out there. They're quite nice. Um, and Samantha Doherty is at IB testing also, so we'll save that for her. Um, so third place, um, Kaylee Lightfoot Richards.
Second place goes to Calvin Verno. Calvin Verno. And first place goes to Michelle DeRome. We're going to move on to ceramics. Uh, we have honorable mention for her mug, Jennifer Edwards. She's also in IB testing this morning, so we'll get that to her. Um, second oral honorable mention for her abstract sculpture, uh, Tayla Proven Provenzano, I'm sorry, Tayla. Third place for the abstract sculpture is also Kayla Sanchez. Second place, also for her abstract scu sculpture, is Crystal De Jesus. And first place for her abstract sculpture, Mariah Brown. Illustration. Um, the books went over well with the judges this year in illustration. A lot of these are for books. Um, honorable mention to Kaylon Williams for her book. A second honorable mention to Alana Silvero for her book. Third place goes to Franklin Guman for his book. Second place to Tatiana Anduzi. She has a little statement below her piece, which is really great to help interpret it. It's a little keyhole with color coming out of it in the forehead. If you haven't seen it, take a look at it out there today. Uh, and first place for his book, Jihad Malloy. Sculpture. Honorable mention, Sally Chu for her dystopian landscape. Second honorable mention in sculpture to Kayla Sanchez. Third place in sculpture to Ju Juleth Woosh. Second place to Jesus Alvarez Carrera. And first place to Nicole Dudley Bruce.
And now I'd like to welcome Mr. DuPont up for a few words and then to award the last two categories. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, having me. I'm not sure if you know me. My name is uh, Kevin DuPont. I am the Director of uh, Business and Instructional Technology and Career Education, and it is an honor to come to an event uh, like this. I, I attend all the art shows. I attend all the uh, all the musicals, and, and I'm always amazed on the production, all the work that our students can do. And I'm sitting back here and just thinking, I was thinking, you know, I like, what can I say? And like, I always think about, I can't do any of that stuff that's out there. I probably could eventually if I had some great teachers to teach me. But the best part is that it all starts, it starts from nothing. It starts from like a lump, a lump of clay or literally a blank, a blank uh, canvas or it's in file that you click open on your computer and you start designing. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a raw, it's a raw piece of wood, but then at the end, and you create something great. And honestly, the adults walk around, and like a lot of times they say, wow, wow, how do they do that? And it, and it all comes from you, and so you should all be proud of yourselves. Um, and I can't thank you enough, and like Ms. Walter said, and I believe Ms. Richard said it as well, is that, is that these are the great events to go to. And I to see the work that our students can do. Um, and I'm always proud to, uh, uh, to uh, talk about the arts here at Brockton High School and the city of Brockton. So uh, we have a couple uh, categories that I'll go through. Just the microphone. Oh, I got to talk louder? Jeez, sorry. Uh, so um, we have uh, three categories. Our first category is a com uh, computer aided uh, design, and we have um, um, uh, four students that I'd like to acknowledge. For honorable mention, uh, and uh, these were all uh, the car photos just out there, the ones that were, uh, uh, that were made with our CAD program. Our first one is Nicholas Pacheco for honorable mention. Nicholas? Okay. Uh, for, third, for third place, we have N uh, Nathaniel DeRose. Hope for Nathaniel DeRose. Second place, we have uh, Dennis Tao. Congratulations, Dennis. In first place, we have Kayla Murphy. Our second category is ar architectural design, which if you're out there, it's the houses that the students had, had, had designed, and those are some pretty cool, some, and some pretty cool houses that are out there. Uh, so uh, honorable, mention, honorable mention is Edward Yee. Right, Edward. A, th a third, <laughs> third place is Zara Garrett Arrojo. I said right. Second place is Tyler Kelly. First place in architectural uh, design is Ariana Gordon. Our last category deals with our, um, our wood projects that our students, again, uh, created from a raw piece of wood and put together a uh, project that symbolized something that they um, either A, needed or believed that um, that could be used uh, by someone else. So our first um, winner, honorable mention, with his entertainment center is Luke Gaspar.
Congratulations. Our next winner uh, created a project that instead of having a ugly looking uh, plastic uh, kennel, we want to have a nice design uh, dog kennel that could be displayed uh, anywhere in your home. So that was Jonathan Cavallo, a great, another great piece. <laughs> great work. Good job. Congratulations. Our next winner uh, created a, a coffee table uh, that I trust me, I've brought coffee tables before, and you can never find the right one with the right size. But this one obviously is a perfect uh, size for its location, and its winner is, is uh, Andrew Johnson. Congratulations, Andrew. And then our last winner, which I know if this ever went up for auction, there'll be some pretty big bids on this. Uh, it was actually a shoe, a closet uh, that you could place either your sneakers in or your shoes in. It was a great piece. And again, it comes from uh, crea uh, creativity. That's a Nadeja Levesque Price. Congratulations, Nadeja. <laughs> I think she may have testing. Uh, so that's all the awards. I, the one thing I want to say is that um, Again, it goes back to um, here, here at Brockton High School, how great it is to, uh, to see this every year. But all our first place winners this year were females. And so uh, we're not, I know men, but, but some of these categories uh, dealing with engineering or computer aided design or carpentry are often dominated uh, by males. And so what this says is that here at Brockton High School uh, is that uh, it doesn't matter who you are or what you look like or, or your background. If you have your vision, if, if you have the desire, uh, we can lead you there. So thank you again. So congratulations again to all the winners. Thank you, Mr. DuPont. Um, congratulations. Give yourself all a round of applause.